All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to set up remote play together inside of different games on Steam that have local co-op, but they don't have normal, like, multiplayer co-op. You can use remote play together to play remotely with your friends, and most of the time, only one of you actually has to own the game. So to do this, all you have to do is open up the game you want to play, have it, you know, open in the save that you want to invite your friend to for local co-op or however you activate local co-op for your game. Then you just have to open up your Steam overlay, make sure you're logged in to your friends list, and then you can just click on this little icon down here at the bottom next to your friends icon. It looks like a little uh, controller with like a Wi-Fi symbol. Give that a click, and that'll open up the remote play together window. From here, you can invite your friend or a guest by giving somebody who is not necessarily on your friends list a link. You just click on that and find the person that you want to invite to your little match and then hit confirm. And then once they receive your invite in the little uh, Steam chat here and accept, then you can enable them to have whatever controls you want. So right now, Boneless Goo has got um, a keyboard and a mouse plugged in so I can click on them so they're no longer grayed out, which is enabling her controls to be able to play in my game. It'll also show a controller if she has one plugged in, but only I have one plugged in. And then from here, I'm loaded into Cult of the Lamb. Note that with Cult of the Lamb for this to work, one of the people playing has to have a controller plugged in. Either you or your friend, because it's local co-op, it's acting like you're sharing a mouse and keyboard. So I plugged in a controller, so now I can go to add co-op player. So now we can say summon the goat. And it will summon her into my game after we've enabled local co-op and that's it that's all you have to do um there are some hiccups that might prevent this from working um like your internet connection might not be strong enough or stable enough for this to work in which case you can try restarting your router to see you don't need a super fast internet but both of you need a pretty decent internet because i'm basically live streaming my game to her right now in order for her to play um, if that doesn't work, you may need to restart your router or restart your internet. Similarly, you may need to restart both of your computers if you are having other hiccups or Steam isn't detecting your controllers the first time around. You may need to A, restart Steam, then restart your computer or restart your internet. So I hope you found it helpful. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This has been How to Enable Remote Play Together. To kick her out, all you have to do is pause or you're a friend or whoever. Click remove co-op player, they'll get kicked out. Then you can open this up and then you can kick them out of your remote play together session and then close it and you are no longer doing remote play together. So that's it. That's how you do remote play together on Steam. I hope you found this helpful. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will catch you next time. Bye, everybody. and Have a good one.